I don't want you to throw your shoulders backwards. You're not really straight. If you're really straight, you're anyway gonna throw your shoulders back. You're gonna master your first single jump in just a couple minutes, believe me. And I'm doing 39 and then 40. That's it. Hello, my dear friend. So now we're gonna take with you the base of the jump. So this is gonna be single tour on the floor. This video, more for the people that only in very beginning in the figure skating. So we're gonna work with our single jump. It's gonna look like that. From both legs, we're gonna land to the both legs. I'm gonna open you now the secret how we're gonna master that very fast. All this jump is basically about the movement of our arms. We really have to control the movement of our arms and we'll have to do it very well because this, after that, afterwards, this is gonna move on to our jumps, to the tollup, to the sow, to the flip, and every single jump. This is our base that we have to really work on. So, we're gonna start and go to a little bit bended legs. Our left arm, our left hand have to be in the front of our chest. Elbow have to be a little bit bended, not 90 degrees, but not straight, a little bit bended. Yeah, let's say like 100 degrees. Right arm as well, but right arm a little bit lower, somewhere next to the hip, okay? Shoulders looking straight, head also looking straight. While we're gonna start and work on our twist, it shouldn't be like your arms, your shoulders are going and your head staying at the same position or your head starting to move and then your arms follow it. You have to start to twist your shoulder and your left elbow and you have to follow it and then up in the air after one turn when we're gonna take our final position, our close position in the air, we're taking the proper position. Before that, we're basically twisted, yeah? And we're moving on. And as soon as we're going into the jump, we're taking our position. We don't have to take the closing position after like quarter of the turn or after the half of the turn. Of course, now we're doing only the single jump. So here it has to be a little bit faster, but when we're gonna start and practice our double, triple jumps on the floor and on ice, we shouldn't go maximum fast in here. We have to create center of force movement, you know? Because this is only the way how we're gonna start and spin our body really fast. So, what do you gotta start from? Arms on the position, legs are bended. We're starting to work with our twist. As you see, while I'm doing the twist, and when I'm in the final position here, my legs already straight. So I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up. I don't want you to try directly to jump your first single jump. I want you to do it first 30, 40, 50 times this twist. Let's pretend that I already did this. And let's say I'm at the 39th and I'm doing 39 and then 40. That's it. You already, because you already know how your legs are going, how your arms are going. Last thing that I want to tell, be aware about the most typical mistakes. While you're going down, don't bend your back. If your back, your head and your eyes are low and lower to the floor, it doesn't mean that you're bending your legs. You have to go low and down with your legs, not with your body. Also, you're gonna do and do your jump after that. I don't want you to throw your shoulders backwards. You have to pretend that you're staying a little bit in the front of your chest. You're a little bit in the front, yeah? You're not very far, you're not really straight. If you're really straight, you're anyway gonna throw your shoulders back. So we're trying to do the jump a little bit more in here. Because as you can see on the videos, on the world-class levels, skaters, while they do in the jump, for example, they go into the tollup, they're not flying in the air straight. They keep in this position in the air. And then after that, they're landing here. They're not landing here. So here's the same thing. 
Before the jump, I'm staying a little bit more in the front. In this case, I'm gonna be exactly in the same position. As soon as you will master your first single jumps, I want you to start and work with you for your length. In many other videos, I already told you how our head should be. It has to be on the side. It has to follow our right arm on the opening, yeah, after that. And we have to work with our closing position. And now is the 21st century. Before that, people was spinning in the air this way. Now, be aware that your left arm, your belly, and right arm on your shoulder. We don't have any gaps between our elbows and your body. They have to be completely closed, okay? So, let's check this out again. We're doing the jump, position open. My head follow my right, my left leg open up maximum fast, starting to open up, not this way, but with my knee and my toe. Here, 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 okay? If you're gonna follow all these steps, you're gonna master your first single jump in just a couple minutes. Believe me, this is quite simple. And do it, please do it in the right way, right from the beginning. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult to work in the better way after that. It's easier to learn and do your job good and correct right from the top. Thank you for watching this video. Press like. See you in the next video. Bye.